Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd, and this is Maddie Owens here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Election day is less than a week away, but early voting has already started in Texas. Early voting for the November 8th election began on October 24th and continues through November 4th. Polling locations open at 7 a.m. and close 12 hours later at 7 p.m. To vote, a person needs to be a registered voter and needs to have one of the following forms of identification. A Texas driver's license. A Texas election identification certificate issued by DPS. A Texas personal identification card issued by DPS. A Texas license to carry handgun issued by DPS. A United States military identification card containing the person's photograph. A United States citizenship certificate containing the person's photograph or a United States passport. The closest polling places to campus are Collin College, Heritage High School, and Hunt Middle School. Visit www.collincountytx.gov for more information. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Wade Glover. The upcoming Thanksgiving and winter breaks are a time of travel for many, but junior Sophie Kwan is on a plane to China right now. WTV's Neha Paramala has more. Kwan is headed to Asia as part of the United States rock climbing team competing in the International Federation of Sport Climbing World Youth Championships that start Sunday and continue through November 13th. I learned a lot, I think I learned about a year ago that I shouldn't give her any advice at all. That really, it comes down to her listening to her coaches, doing what she's capable of doing, and she's discovered her own system for what she needs to do to be successful, just to stick with it. So my job is just to say, okay, have fun. So, and that's the only advice I'm going to give her. Everything else is just do what your coach is and what you've done in the past and just keep doing what you're doing. In all honesty, for her, it's just about, you know, believing that the process has worked and that she trusts that she's done enough and that she's put in the effort and time to physically and mentally prepare. So, with, with her, I just try to be positive, you know. I try to let her, you know, take control of her own climbing and you know, have some personal responsibility with that, and I just encourage her as much as I can, essentially. On Friday's WTV Daily Update, we take a more in-depth look at Sophie's climb to become one of the top teens in her sport. I'm Neha Paramala reporting for WTV. The outdoor ed class has started hunting education. WTV's Regara Garcienda has the details. The outdoor education class students begin the year by learning archery, and now they are learning how to hunt. This is an important skill for hunter as they must learn how to hit the vital organ of an animal in order to kill it fast without the animal suffering. Students are now practicing shooting with precision so they can hit the vital parts of a deer, such as the heart and the lungs. They are also learning how to shoot with more efficient weapons such as the crossbow rather than a regular bow. A crossbow is faster, more precise, with many people preferring it for hunting. Learning about the animals and new hunting methods is an important part of becoming a good, ethical, and responsible hunter. This is one of the lessons taught in the outdoor education class. This was Ricky Garcendia reporting for WTV. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can find us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. Please stay tuned for today's announcements. Football plays Reedy at the Star Thursday night at 7. Tickets are now on sale for Shrek the Musical. Students will not be able to park in the teacher parking lot by the tennis courts anymore until after 2.30 p.m. The entire east side of the school is open for parking. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Maddie Owens for WTV.